Faruka here and I have another review video. Um, I know I've had a lot of these recently and that's because August my birthday and so I ended up getting a lot of stuff for that and I wanted to review some of it for you guys. So what I have here is a Sailor Moon Prism Stationery. You can see there it's got Neptune and Uranus on the front. So when you open the box, we have two items. And the packaging for these is very, very cute. I normally don't keep packaging, but <laughs> I don't know, all of this packaging is so cute and I wanna keep it, but I don't have a whole lot of room to keep all these boxes. So first thing I'll open up is Sailor Neptunes. So it's really nice, it opens like that. Go. So I don't know if you can see here, but it has Sailor Neptune written on the pin. And then of course her symbol on the top. So, first thing is it's a pointer. So that's pretty cool. I wish I had a reason to use this at work as a pointer. Sadly, I don't. Really, really wish I did. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty neat. And then we will open Sailor Uranus's. Opens the same way. And as before, we have Sailor Uranus on the body of the pin itself and her symbol on the top. And it's a little pointer. So that's very, very cute. So I actually was under the impression that these were pointers and like writing pins, which is why I kept saying pin. Um, I think I may be wrong about that though. When I bought these off of Amazon, so there you go. But I thought that they were actual pins in addition to pointers. And maybe I am missing the part where you click something off to make it a pin. But I don't think I am. I think they're just pointers. So, oh well. But they're still really, really cute. Let's get them out together so y'all can see them together. So yeah, here they are. They are super cute. And too heavy. I mean, you can tell there's a little bit of weight to them, so they don't feel like entirely plastic, but there they are. Super cute. Okay, so I went and looked on Amazon at a couple of the other items from the um, line that was like this, and I figured out how to get to the pin portion, you guys. So it's a little confusing, and it makes you feel like you're going to break these, but I promise you won't. So you need to at least extend it to here where this last bit is and then you twist the top and there's your pin so then you can just push this back down and there you have your pin. From what I can tell I don't believe you can replace the ink in these which is a little disappointing because these are really really cute so I would love to continue to use them for a very very long time as actual writing pins. But it looks like you are limited on the ink. Um, granted, if I'm wrong and you know of a way to refill the ink in these, that's awesome. Please comment down below and let me know. Because otherwise, I will probably use the ink on these sparingly. Just because I want to use them, but I also don't want to run out. So, but yeah, just wanted to let y'all know. These are actually pins. I was incorrect you can use these to write with. So just had to Google a little bit to find the answer on how to do that. So yeah, here they are. Super cute. 
So, I will do another review video, I'm sure, sometime soon. And I will see all of y'all next time. Bye!